In this short video, I'll demonstrate the Multiscene plugin. The plugin allows you to edit multiple scenes simultaneously and move objects between scenes. So once you've got the package from the Asset Store, install it. It includes all the source code and installs it inside the Multiscene directory. Right, if I go to the Scenes folder, I've got a few scenes here to show you. There's the capsule scene, which I've got loaded at the moment, that just contains a capsule. And then I've got the cube scene, which contains a cube and the multi-scene logo and the camera. To edit multiple scenes or just look at another scene, just drag it to the hierarchy view. So in the hierarchy view, you can see that we now have a header for each scene. We've got the cube scene, which is the current scene, and capsule, the, the scene that we just dragged into the hierarchy view. I can expand that and see the capsule inside it. I can edit any objects in any of the scenes. So for example, let's move this capsule so it's directly below the cube in the other scene. You'll notice now that the capsule scene has gained an asterisk, and I can now save that scene by clicking on the S. You can also move objects between scenes. So for example, I can take this cube and move it into the capsule scene. I can undo that. Or I can also copy um, objects between scenes. So let's copy the capsule and paste it into this scene. I'll just undo that. Sometimes you want to split your existing scene into a couple of scenes. So for example, I've got this logo here. Maybe I want to move that into a different scene. So I can right click a scene header and create scene. Now if I just drag that into here, I can save that scene. Now to explain the active scene a bit more, it's the one shown in bold and also the one in the title bar of Unity. You can change active scene by double clicking on a header. You'll notice there that the game view changed colour. That is because this scene that I've just created has got the default render settings. In the cube I've got an ambient light of red. There we go. If I go to the logo scene again. A grey ambient light. So the active scene is where the current render settings are taken from. Now if I create a new object, You'll see it's been added to the logo scene, the active scene. Let's load another scene in here. So I've got a scene with a sphere in it. So now let's explain the locking of scenes. The padlocks show the locked status and I can lock, say for example, the capsule, and then select the objects. So you'll see here the capsule selected plus the cubes and the sphere. If I now move that, the locked capsule is not moving because it's in a locked scene. If I unlock it and move them, it will move again. You can also change the visibility of a scene. 
which is really useful when you've got larger scenes loaded. That pretty much wraps it up for this video. Overall, it's just really useful being able to drag another scene into the hierarchy view and copy objects out of it, or use it as a reference.